Okay guys, uh, got myself into another one here. Uh, this is my Harley customer, that trike customer. Uh, this is his truck here, and he lost a cylinder in it, and it's pretty chewed up. I used my endoscope and looked down in the cylinder, and uh, part of the piston's missing, and just a bunch of metal in there don't belong in there, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna hopefully yank this thing out, and then in a couple days, throw it on a trailer, and my customer is gonna run it down to Miami and exchange it, the core for exchange for a new remanufactured motor, bring it right back, slap it in, hook it up, and we're out of here. So yeah, sounds good in the perfect world. Uh, this is a 2002 4.7 16-tooth tone ring. A um, lot of controversy on the internet about how you tell which is which. There's a real easy way to tell. Not super easy, but let me see if I can help you all out here. Um, what you got to do is remove the crank sensor. All right, bear with me. We're going down in the hole. All right, if you look way back in there, you see that plug going into the block with that little 13 millimeter nut right under the freeze plug? Take a good look. Take a second. You see that? That's your crank sensor. You take that one bolt off, that 13 millimeter hold, holding it on back there. You see it? Get this light in there, good. You take that bolt out and you pull that sensor out. You can unplug it first. Get the wire out of your way. Pull that sensor out. It's got an O-ring on it. It's all right. Wiggle it out. Then there's a big hole in the block. Then you can see the tone ring and you can actually count the teeth or spin it. It's real easy to tell though because, let me get out of here now. Now let you know where it's at. It's real easy to tell because the 16 tooth, uh, just look at a picture on the internet, it has big teeth on it and the 32 have a bunch, bunch of smaller little teeth. So if you look in the hole and you see a big gap and a big wide tooth that's like a half inch wide or something, um, then it's a 16 tooth. You see a bunch of little small teeth, one right after another, then it's 32. But if you want to, have somebody spin the motor while you simply count them. And you either got a 32 or a 16. That's the easiest way to tell. Don't go by what the internet says. Don't go by what anybody tells you. Because I already found out that's not the way to do it. <laughs> Everybody's got a different idea. And there's a bunch of shit that ain't right on there. So, anyway, that's how you tell. 2002. Whoop, almost stepped on my funnel. 2002 Dodge. This is a 1500 four-wheel drive. 4.7 automatic. Uh, it's going to be a motor swap. So, stay tuned.